Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here with my April 2024 polish pickup swatch video. I've got a lot of very pretty polishes and the theme this month is video games. Everything you see in this video will be available exclusively in the polish pickup shop from April 5th through the 8th. I will include the specific times when the shop opens and when it closes down in the description. And let's take a look at the polishes. Let's start with Bees Knees Lacquer. Their polish this month is called Queen of Rot. And this one is inspired by Millennia from Elden Ring. And this is a dark chocolate Doomicorn sibling with the same green to blue shimmer that we love so much. Um, if you're not familiar with Doomicorn, it was a polish from Polish Pickup, I want to say in 2020 from Bees Knees Lacquer and then they've just created this incredible legacy of polishes with that beautiful shimmer that you see here. It shifts from green to blue and they just use it in different bases and it always looks so good. In this chocolate brown base in particular, I am completely obsessed. As you can see, it does start off sheer, but by that third coat, it's completely opaque Fantastic formula as always with Bees Knees Lacquer, really easy to build up, really easy to work with, has a beautiful paddle brush. And I am topping pretty much all of my swatches here in this video with Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat. This polish dries down quite shiny, but once you add that top coat, you can really see it amps it up even further. And this polish is absolutely incredible i completely love the combination of the base color with the shimmer it looks almost purple at some points it's just so interesting it's like the most beautiful grungy kind of bruised color it's just fantastic and so beautiful completely unique i have absolutely nothing like it in my collection and I am just super happy to have this polish. It's the polish that I didn't know I needed all my life. Next up we have Bluebird Lacquer and this is called Red Crested Brie Gull. And this one is inspired by Banjo Kazooie. So Bluebird Lacquer says that she does not play video games, but her sister loves them. She was her navigator for Banjo-Kazooie when she played. They were obsessed, and it's one of their favorite memories of them hanging out together. This polish is a oxblood red base with loads of large particle shimmer and a lovely hollow that gives it an almost plum-like look. This has a beautiful formula. It builds up super easily in two coats. It's so rich and glowy, as you're going to see. Super easy to work with, really beautifully pigmented, and the hollow is absolutely gorgeous in here. It does dry down a touch dull, so definitely use a top coat. Again, using Cuticula Limitless, that will just bring out the hollow in the best possible way. And I didn't experience any issues with staining or difficulty removing the polish. It's just really easy to work with and an absolutely beautiful finish. Thankfully, the sun was out, so I was able to show off the hollow in this one. You can hopefully see how pretty it is in all different types of lighting. Here we have Phoenix Indie Polish and they've created Ivy for this month. This one is inspired by Poison Ivy and it is a poisonous beautiful green with a burning violet to red shimmer. 
I believe Sunbeam Nails on Instagram said this one was like giving Shrek vibes. So it definitely is. It's kind of got that beautiful swampy mossy green base and then the pretty violet shimmer works so beautifully in contrast to the base color. This builds up really easily and I did have like a little unmixed pigment in my polish but make sure you just give your bottle a good shake and that should take care of it and I did feel that this one needed a third coat just just to to bring it all together but it built up easily in three coats and definitely was fully opaque on that third coat Because it sort of has a bit of a creamy base, it does dry down a tiny bit duller than when it initially goes on. So use glossy top coat and you can see it really brings it to life. The shimmer is very strong in this one. It's absolutely beautiful. The color contrast works phenomenally well. If you're a fan of greens, then this is definitely one to consider adding to your collection. And I do have to agree that it definitely is giving a little bit of Shrek, so bonus points for that. Here we have Sassy Sauce. There's a Glitz in the Matrix, and this one is a purple when cold to blue when warm thermal with a glowy red to purple shimmer. So these are Carrie's, owns wor Carrie's own words for her description. She said, inside it doesn't look like much, but when the light hits it, bam. So it's a very beautiful polish. I would say it looks beautiful in any lighting and it's inspired by a photo from an old star wars galaxy game apparently this has a really beautiful formula and it builds up very easily depending on your polishing style you might need three coats or two coats and it does have this gorgeous shimmer that does sparkle beautifully in the light I opted for three coats just because it is a thermal and the cold color is lighter. No, sorry, this is a cold color. The warm color is lighter, so in order to make sure the lighter color was fully opaque, I did a third coat, but it builds up really easily, dries quickly in between coats, and it is a thermal, and thermals tend to dry a little bit dull, so you can see that the top coat definitely brings it back to life. So this is it cold and here you can see it. It's a really pretty kind of corn flowery blue when warm and you can see that purple shimmer even better because there's more of a contrast to the warm state. So here you can see a little bit of warm and cold and transitioning and this is really pretty you can definitely see in the light how that shimmer picks up it's kind of subtle but it's absolutely gorgeous love both colors of this polish in the hot or cold state so it's a beautiful beautiful polish and here it is fully warm in case anyone was curious Moving along, we have Cleona Cosmetics Selkie Caravan. And this one is inspired by the sisters' favorite RPG games from their childhood, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Specifically, their character choice was always Selkie. 
and the color is inspired by the caravan's mission to collect myrrh from the trees. That's a totally new language for me, but it sounds very fun. This is a glowy polish that has a green leaning turquoise jelly base with bright green micro flakes that subtly shift to aqua and blue scattered holographic micro glitter. I really haven't seen a polish like this before between the color and the inclusion of the flakes and the micro glitter. It's absolutely beautiful. It builds up beautifully. I think it looks best in three coats. And this one really, really glows. It's so interesting to look at on your nails. I just love, love everything Cleona Cosmetics come up with. They just do such a good job with their nail polish and their eyeshadows. If they come out with lipsticks, then we can only hope and also pray for me because I would buy every single color. Anyway, this definitely needs top coat to smooth it out. It's not um, textured by any means, but the flakes just benefit from something to smooth them out. And you can clearly see that this is extremely glowy. It doesn't shift too much, but it just looks different depending on the lighting source. And it's beautiful in all lighting situations. I absolutely love this polish. Here we have Penelope Luz, and this one is Fantasy Fire. This is a new brand to my channel, so I'm happy to have this polish to show you. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a baby turquoise base with intense purple shimmer and a little holographic pigment just to shine. This one builds up really, really beautifully, and it is just packed with shimmer and hollow. I was really impressed with this formula. I have used the brand before, I've bought it in the past, and I've always loved their polish, so when they reached out, I definitely said yes because everything they make is beautiful. This polish is no exception. It builds up really nicely, either two or three coats depending on your polish style. To me, it looks really good in two, but I figured I would throw on a third just for the heck of it. And you can see it just intensifies the blue color a little bit more on that third coat. This does dry down a tiny bit dull, so definitely use a top coat to enhance the holographic effect and bring it to life it's so pretty this is really shifty as you're going to see in a second and who doesn't love hollow and thankfully we had a few days of sun so i was able to show this one off as well in the sunlight you can see the hollow it's very fine it just adds this beautiful rainbowy glow to it and that contrast of the purpley shimmer with the blue base just works so beautifully. This one is really pretty. Moving along, we have Polished for Days Star Fragments. This one's a navy blurple base with pink, purple, and blue glowing iridescent flakes and a scattering of black flakes for depth. I am a huge fan of this finish from Polished for Days. They do it so well. And this one in particular is inspired by Glowing Animal Crossing Island. This is a fantastic formula. It builds up really nicely in either two or three coats. I'd probably leave it in two, but I think I show it for you in three. And I just think that it's so pretty with those flakes. Honestly, there's something really magical about them and they do dry down textured, but top coat smooths everything out. It's not difficult to remove and this one 
is just going to blow your mind, especially in indirect lighting. It will glow the most that way. And of course, when you put on the top coat, it almost makes it look like an opal. It's just so beautiful and deep with this incredible depth to it. I just love it. I'm also noticing that there are a ton of blues this month. So if you're a fan of blue, then this is definitely a good month for you. At least almost all the polishes I got, I feel like they were blue. So I don't know if there's like an overall color analysis for video games, but it's just always interesting to see what kind of trends I notice every month. This month is definitely blue. And speaking of blue, we have another sort of blue polish. This one is Kathleen & Co. Tropical Freeze. This is inspired by Donkey Kong. And this one is a light minty base. So it's kind of blue, kind of green. It's really gorgeous. And there's no shade to blue because I love blue. Um, this one also has a glowy, icy blue shimmer and hollow micro flakes. This one starts off sheer, but it builds up very, very easily and quickly. You can do two coats or three coats. And I absolutely love the combination of the base color with the glowy icy shimmer. And of course, the addition of the hollow flakes is just icing on the cake. And the true cherry on top is the Kathleen & Co formula and brush. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you haven't tried Kathleen & Co, definitely do. They make fantastic polish. They have an absolutely beautiful brush that they use and a cap that's really easy to grip so I just love painting with their polishes. This one does dry down a tiny bit dull but the top coat brings everything back to life. It helps enhance the holographic effect and as you will see this one is super glowy Again, sunshine, so you can see definitely giving Tropical Island Donkey Kong. And yeah, it's just very, very pretty. Here we have Glisten and Glow Mabel Sable Label. And I think this is another Animal Crossing inspired polish. It's a light purple crelly loaded with blue, purple, and copper metallic flakes. This one has a beautiful formula. It's so easy to work with and it builds up really easily and beautifully. It's also really unique. I think that the base color with the combination of metallic flakes is really interesting and pretty. It's just a very cute polish in my opinion. And again, this is one you could leave in two coats, but if you paint in really thin coats or have very visible free edge, then you'll definitely want a third. And this month, Glisten and Glow is offering their incredible top coat. So I'm showing their polish topped off with that. I've said it before, but if you're new here, I will say again, this is one of my favorite top coats. It dries so quickly. It leaves a ridiculously glossy, almost gel-like shine that lasts for several days. And I just love it. No shrinking. It doesn't cause any tip wear, it prevents chipping, it's just a fantastic top coat and clearly it looks beautiful over the polish. So 
This one doesn't have a ton of shifts, but I am showing it in different lighting because that obviously affects how the color looks, but this is pretty in every kind of lighting. Next up we have Rogue Lacquer Dreamlight, and Dreamlight Valley was the key to Rachel's heart, not only as a Disney kid, but as a Disney adult. So she drew inspiration from the Forgotten. This one, um, she said, that inner child that may be dormant at times, but is never alone and never forgotten, which is really beautiful. And it's a rich purple jelly base with purple to pink glass and micro glass flakes with a glowy purple sparkle shimmer. So if you are a purple lover, this one will probably tickle your fancy. Definitely tickled mine. This is such a pretty shade of purple. I'm really particular about my purples, but this one hits the nail on the head. And this one I'm showing in three coats. I think that third coat just intensifies everything and adds a beautiful depth to the polish. It's absolutely gorgeous and it does dry down dull. As you can see, it's not going to be difficult to remove. It didn't cause any staining, but you definitely want glossy top coat to just bring it all together and make it look absolutely gorgeous. So here you can see this is a very vibrant, intense purple, and I absolutely love the pink flakes in there. They aren't super obvious, but they just work so well. I mean, they are, but they're not. It's not like, bam, there's a pink flake. They're kind of intermingled with the layers, and they just add this incredible glow to the polish. I think it's a really beautifully formulated polish and I absolutely love it. Moving along we have Paint It Pretty Polish Dancing Cats from Sea of Thieves. This one is called Dancing Cats and it is a blurple base with blue to purple shimmer and flakes that shift through teal, blue, and purple. I want to say that this is almost like a long lost cousin to Dreamlight that we just saw. I absolutely love the contrast of colors in this one. I love, love, love those teal, blue, purple shifting flakes. They're so pretty. So this one starts off sheer, but it does build up nicely in two to three coats. I am going to show it in three. I love the Paint It Pretty Polish formula. I always love seeing what Sherry comes up with each month, and I really like this one. So on that third coat, it's kind of interesting how it suddenly looks blurple. Like at first I'm like, it's a purple polish, but then on the third coat, it definitely took more of a blue turn. And this is also a polish that dries a little bit dull, so you use a good glossy top coat to give it the best shine possible. It's not difficult to remove, definitely no staining with this one, and it has a really pretty twinkle to it. It's just a really gorgeous and glowy polish, as you can very easily see here. And next up we have Garden Path Lacquers, the world's a little blurry. And this one is 
inspired by the puzzle game Elo Milo, and it's specifically inspired by the levels where Elo and Milo cry so much that they end up underwater. And Elo Milo also inspired the Billie Eilish song of the same name. It's very cool. So this one is an ocean blue jelly accented with blue holographic micro glitter, blue to purple shifting finely milled shimmer, and blue to green aurora shimmer. And this is like one of the coolest polishes. I absolutely love it. And I love Garden Path Lacquers, what they do every month. This one is no exception. And I absolutely love this finish that they do where it's like Aurora Shimmer, another type of shimmer, and glitter. It all just works so well together. I decided to leave this one in two coats. You might need three, but top coat is definitely needed to bring it to its full potential. It won't be difficult to remove. Those little micro glitters are so tiny and they are very sparkly and holographic. This one is kind of ghostly. It's just so glowy and gorgeous. And last but not least, we have Cuticula. This one's called Portal, and it is inspired by the game Portal. It's a soft blue crelly base with green to blue and orange to gold shifting glass flakes, orange to red large particle shifting shimmer, and matte black flakes. This one is really, really pretty. I kind of love it in one coat, but obviously, you can build it up and it builds up very easily in either two or three coats. There's really pretty color combos happening in this. It's really magical and unique and delicate. It's a really pretty polish and I'm always also super excited to see what Amanda will come up with every month and this one really tickled my fancy. So here you can see it with glossy top coat. It's really beautiful with those flakes. And it's just a really pretty polish, super unique, and I definitely recommend it. It particularly looks good out of indirect lighting, but of course it looks good indirect as well. It looks good everywhere all the time. I have a very clear favorite for this month and it is Bees Knees Lacquer Queen of Rot. That polish is absolutely beautiful. It has such a grungy 90s kind of feel to it, like early Urban Decay, vintage Urban Decay. I guess it's vintage now because it would be like 30 years old, but um, it's just giving grunge in the best possible way absolutely love the formula love the shimmer love the base color it's just perfection so let me know in the comments if you are planning on picking any of these up this month let me know if you've got anything else on your wish list that i didn't have in my video and i guess that's it for me i hope you have a great day wherever you are and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye